Falling down is not a failure. Failure comes when you stay where you have fallen. All praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rukar Kwadash. Double honors to the elders apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akim. Sincerely puts in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. My name is Lamadia. And um the quote that I just quoted is a quote from Socrates on failure. Because we all fail, we all make mistakes. But within these failures are learning experiences. So for us to learn, we, we must um, fail. And real quick, let's go into the etymology of the word fail. Because I like, you know, I like to look up the etymology of words because like the, when you start looking into the meanings or the true meanings of the word, it's almost like a po poetic meaning. And you find out when you use certain words, what you're really saying. So let's go into the word fell. And um, it's pretty long, so I'm going to try to skim through it. So when we look at the word fell, it derives from the French. Which that derives from the Latin. Which means to trip, to fall. Figurative, figuratively to deceive so the word f failure is where you get well the word failure pretty much mean to um to fall so when a person fails other other uh, other words that person stumbled that person f ha had fallen And if I'm not mistaken, let me look up the word for, because it may have the same root word, because it got, you see, from the Latin for there. So let's see if if those had the same root word. Okay. Uh. All right, here's from the German. Oh, I don't see it. I will double check on it. So let's go back. Um. So the word fail means to stumble or to fall. And we all fall and make mistakes. And this is how we we um we gain experience. Just like when you was a child, it took you a few times to fall off the bike, maybe scrape your knees, scrape your hands, to to actually master riding a bike. But failure only comes in is when you when you quit the task of mastering something, and that's a analogy for this um, this faith that we in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because we all make mistakes, and within these mistakes we all get humiliated, we feel ashamed. But you continue. You keep on continuing until we master it. And we're only going to master it when we cross over to the kingdom. That's when we're going to get it right. But some people fall and they don't get back up. Now that's a failure. That's a quitter. So now let's hit the scripts. This is Judges 5 and 11. And it says, They that are delivered from the noise of the archer in the place of drawing waters. I'm sorry, and drawing water. Now the noise of the arch archers is referencing towards the nuclear missiles. Place of drawing of water is referencing towards America. Because the, the the term drawing of water is a term referenced towards slavery. 
And I read on and it says, there should they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his village in Israel and his villages in Israel. Then should the people of the Lord, Lord go down to that, to the gates. So it says the, the focal point in the scripture is rehearse the righteous acts. So when you rehearse something, you're going to mess up. You're going to make mistakes. That's why you have to keep rehearsing it and repeating it so you get it perfect. And we're fully going to get it perfect when the Mosai change these corruptible bodies and places in incorruptible bodies. Now, let's go from there to Proverbs 24 and 16. And it reads, for a just man. Falleth seven times and rises up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. So a just man is going to fall seven times. Now, seven does not mean that's the minimum of failure or mistakes you have to make. Like you only could sin six or seven times and that's it. You know, you ran out of, of you ran out of failures and the most high is not gonna forgive you. No, the word seven just means completion. It could be seven hundred times, a thousand times. Seven just represents completion because you're gonna always fall. You you know, we always gonna make mistakes. But the the part the point is to get back up and continue and try to get it right. Cause you got you got guys, they just don't care. You know, you, if you make a statement like, "Well, we won't be able, we, we won't be able to keep the Lord's hundred percent in His kingdom," and back in their mind, they thinking to themselves, "Well, what's the point of keeping it?" I'm, and then back in their mind, it's like, "Well, they they should just commit adultery and do any every wicked thing that crosses their mind." So you gotta have shame. And you got to have fear towards the Most High. That's what grace come in. That's what it means we're under grace. We're under mercies. Because the Most High understand what we are attempting to, to get it right. But we, we, we're always going to fall short. So the Most High have grace. Grace does not mean you do not have to um, exercise the law no more. It just means we under mercy. Let's like you pay, you have a bill due, and you can't reach, you can't pay that bill on the time it's supposed to be paid. You might um, file for deferment to put off the bill to uh, uh, to later on. So you just receive a grace period. Do that bill still must be paid? Yeah, you still have to pay the bill. So let's go to Ecclesiastes and I'm gonna close with these last scriptures. Ecclesiastes um seven verse twenty. And it reads For there there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Because we all corruptible, we all sin, we all make mistakes. What make us righteous is our faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's what makes us righteous in our faith. And the only man that never sinned was Yahweh Shah. So that's why we're living off Yahweh Shah's righteousness. Because to be technical, the Most High is not even dealing with us. The Most High is dealing with Yahweh Shah, and Yahweh Shah is dealing with us. That's why Scripture said our righteousness is of Him. So with that, I hope this video was edifying. Until next time. And again, all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Shalom.